There's no two ways about it, really. Uh, I would love to stay in Denmark when I finish my master's. Uh, my name is Gus. I'm from the USA. And for the last two years, I've been studying here in Copenhagen to get my master's degree at the University of Copenhagen. I remember thinking to myself, everything here is so old, classy, and beautiful, almost taken out of a fairy tale. Denmark has one of the oldest democracies in the world and a very long history. But after being here for a while, I found out that Denmark, particularly Copenhagen, is among the most modern of places in the world. The beat of the city, the tech, the architecture, the design, the mindset. Copenhagen feels like a large capital city, but it's really not too big. Everything is close and never more than 20 minutes away from the city center. If you go by bike, that is. All Copenhageners take to the streets by bike, from politicians to students, businessmen and school teachers, old and young. Cycling is the best mode of transport here. I'll never forget the first time I biked past a small four-year-old cruising down the road during high traffic. The Copenhageners, they really don't give a damn. It's their city and they won't hide behind gates or big cars. Life here is public. I think there's this misconception of the Danes being closed off. In my experience, all it takes is showing a genuine interest in them and their customs. And before you know it, they'll let you in. I really do love Copenhagen. There's definitely one part that sticks out as special to me too. There's a small street in Norbro called Stephenskale, right next to a really vibrant park. Car traffic hardly touches it, and it brings the neighborhood together for coffees, for music, flea markets, street food. I really feel like Copenhagen has become my home away from home. 